Hello everyone, I'm Niels from 64 Bits Animation and I'm going to show you today how to do this water effect that you can see in this uh, scene that we made for uh, the Crystals anime intro that you can see on our YouTube page, um, youtube.com slash 64 bits. And I'm going to also make this project available for free on Gumroad and it will be in the description or as a comment. So let's dive right into it. I'm mostly gonna focus on the water effect right there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add a solid layer to this. Um, and there are no plugins required for this. So I'm gonna uh, add a solid, make it a comp, and I'm gonna call it water ripples. You know, water ripples 01. I'm gonna dive into it. And I'm gonna make this a 3D layer. There we go. And flip it. Oh, let me turn that off real quick and then flip it, move it down a little and stretch it up a little bit, maybe a little bit more rotated. So it's in 3D. Uh, so mostly, most of this effect actually consists of a turbulence noise and it's really easy. Uh, the one that I used in the video is actually a little different. It's um, a universe uh, turbulence noise, which is, um, uh, I, it's added in the project, but if you don't have the universe red giant plugins, um, so um, then that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna use the ones that come with After Effects. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a turbulence noise and I'm gonna set that to max and I'm gonna take out all the complexity. So as you can see, it's already starting to look a little bit like water, but it's, it's not, not yet. So I'm gonna increase the contrast by quite a bit and then I'm gonna, well, it, it, I, can, I can do scaling, but I want it like to be even more in depth so I'm gonna do uniform scaling off and I'm gonna make it like, eh, let's say three and a width, let's say 200 height. There we go. Eh, a little, little less, a little less, something like that. So as you can see, it's already starting to look like water ripples, but you need to invert the colors obviously. So I'm just gonna click invert and I'm gonna increase the brightness by, oh no, actually I'm gonna keep the brightness fairly low. So it's gonna be, it's a little blurry right now, and we don't want that. We can uh, increase the contrast even more if we want, um, but we don't want the blurry lines. We want the cartoon, the thick cartoon lines. So the thing is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add all levels. There we go, let's add all levels. And let's push those two together. There we go. And the closer I push it together, the the, the tighter, the, 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 um, the, the white, the whiteness of it gets. Um, don't make them go all the way because you're gonna get crunchy lines right there. It's gonna get really crunchy. Uh, always keep it apart a little bit for like a little bit of anti-aliasing. There we go. And the things you can decide how thick you want them by moving them up and down. So I'm gonna go with, yeah, something like that. And that looks pretty good. Um, obviously it's not moving yet. Uh, and I can do that simply by moving the evolution. But that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna add a keyframe. Normally I do this with a little script, uh, but right now I'm just gonna do a little keyframe and I'm gonna say over nine seconds, do one full rotation. Let's see how that looks. All right, looks pretty good to me. Um, that's, but it's not there yet. It needs a little bit of a turbulence displace. It needs to be like a little wavy and it's not doing that yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a turbulence displace. There we go. So not turbulence noise, but turbulence displace. And um, if I do the same, the same animation there, you're all, you can already see it's also like doing a little motion, a little wavy motion. I think it's a little too much. I'm gonna do the amount a little bit lower and the size a little bit bigger. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. So if I mix the two, so let's start that at zero. Actually, there we go. There. Oh, zero. Um, add a keyframe and. We can, we can tweak it all we want. Let's say 3.5 After Effects probably knows just 180 degrees. And then, you know, this is probably, probably good enough. I dig it. I like it. That's fine. So uh, you can see that I added it in, um, but obviously I need to put it on add. And you can see it is adding in right there. Um, so what I did obviously is going over the rocks right now. Um, uh, and uh, we don't want that. So basically what I did, I really roughly masked them out. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna add a few masks. I'm gonna do it really sloppy. Obviously this takes a lot of time and um, if you wanna do this anywhere else, 
in, uh, in like in, uh, in your project when you're doing it like professionally <laughs> uh, but it's this is fine this is fine for now um i'm gonna instead of add the mask i'm gonna subtract them i'm gonna add a little bit of a mask feather by pressing mf a little mask feather just a little bit I'm seeing it a little bit there we go. just under that dark line that i uh, that we made i'm seeing that this one needs to go a lot more down though so, so so just so we get on that dark line that we illustrated okay let's see how that looks i think it's a little it's a little much and I, I i see one more shape here that i need to mask out there we go something like that there we go voila also a little bit of a feather let's see how that looks and it's pretty close i think that's good uh we're almost there uh, but there are also like lines that we drew in ourselves and th those are these lines these lines right here so i'm gonna add a little bit of a turbulence displace on that as well and then we're almost done um it's gonna be mm, this is too much if i um, normally i scrub through it see how much it is so i'm gonna say like uh, 20 and then maybe the size putting the size up a little bit let's see how that works no putting the size down to 50. it's always like finicky like how there we go something like that that looks like water um, so this for this time, I'm actually not going to add in keyframes. I'm going to just teach you how I normally do it. I'm going to alt click the stopwatch. I'm just going to type in time times, let's say 200. There we go. Let's see how it looks. There we go. There we go. And we're going to close that down. And let's see how that looks. And there's one more step actually. And that's the layer below because there's going to be a shadow. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate those water ripples. I'm gonna put them down there, like all the way under the rocks. I'm gonna move them physically down. There we go. They're under the rocks now. Um, and obviously I'm gonna make those more like in a multiply, but as you can see, like that's wrong. Uh, I need to invert the colors as well. So the black becomes white and the white becomes black. There we go. Invert. And then we do a multiply and then you can see there's gonna be ripples that move exactly the same because everything is in a, uh, in a composition. And now let's lower that a little bit. We can add a little blur to it. Maybe not because it's solar. It's like it's sun rays, so we don't need to, but you can add a little blur to that. And as you can see, the, the water, the shadow of the, of the white lines are also on the ground right now. I can move them up a little bit to the side if we want the, the sun to move in from a different angle, but that's basically it. Um, not do that. Let's just keep it down. And there we go. That's all. That's all. Thank you for watching. Again, this file is available on Gumroad uh, for free. And again, in the description or as a comment. Really easy. Uh, see you next time.